Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Mm, as you can see from here, I have a few types of vegetable. I'm going to use uh, this to make um, vegetable soup or thickened soup or vegetable stew. Okay, it's very simple, very fast. Okay, all you need to do is just to uh, cut your uh, different veggie into uh, strips, thin strips like this. All right, and also have some carrot, and this is um, uh, soaked shiitake mushroom until it is softened and uh, cut into strips as well. Um, the main flavor from this for this particular dish will be actually from this shiitake mushroom itself. All right, and also have uh, some egg. I'm going to. Um, Pouring a little bit of egg at the end towards the end. All right, you. Uh, we have to saute our mushrooms. All right. Um, if you are using stainless steel wok like Appa, then you need to actually add oil in cold wok. Then only raise the heat. This will reduce the sticking problem. Okay. Shiitake mushroom. You need to saute to really bring out the flavor. Actually, the same applies to uh, the carrot. Adding the carrot also. These two you need the uh, you need the contact with a uh, hot oil in order to really bring out the flavor. All right. Wow! Immediately I can smell the nice fragrance coming out from the shiitake mushroom itself. I'm going to saute this for a minute or two. We will come back shortly. All right. This is after about two minutes sauteing. You can really smell the very nice aroma coming from the shiitake mushroom. I'm going to add in some uh, fried garlic. You can use uh, fresh raw garlic also. If you use raw garlic, you can actually add in the garlic earlier. Just to add up the flavor. You can add the, some uh, thin uh, meat strips to uh, this this particular dish also. But today I don't feel like taking any uh, meat, yeah. So I'm not adding any meat at all. Okay, this is um, this is the water we are actually used to soak the shiitake mushroom. I have some chicken stock. And I'm going to add a bit of hot water. Look at it, the, the soup actually turned a bit uh, orangey. This is actually the uh, nature goodness coming out from the carrot when we saute just now. Yeah, I'm going to bring this to a boil, then I will add in the uh, cabbage. It's actually better to use Chinese cabbage. I, use, I don't have the Chinese cabbage at home, so I use the normal cabbage. We come back shortly. Okay, the soup is now boiling. I can put in my cabbage. I can imagine this soup very, will be a uh, very uh, natural sweet. By the way, Appa is not teaching you how to cook. Appa is only a uh, uh, cooking father, yeah, who cook at home. Uh, and all the video that you see on my channel, they are all my uh, dinner at home for my family. Okay. Every time after I came back from work, I will try my best to uh, prepare dinner for my family. Try. Uh, so that they don't have to eat outside so often. Okay, I'm going to cover this with a lid. And by the time, uh, give it a couple of minutes. By the time it gets boiling after 2-3 minutes, it is almost done. Alright, very fast. This is after about 2 minutes. Simmering under high heat. So 
Oh. Looks very appetizing. It is almost there. Few more last steps. Uh, let's uh, do some seasoning here to give it some salt. Followed by a bit of sugar. If you don't like to put sugar into your soup, then don't put, okay? You don't have to follow up. Huh? The reason why I put sugar is because sugar will help to in, um, intensify the saltiness of the salt itself. So that you won't have to put so much uh, salt. And I'm going to put a bit of uh, fish sauce. Okay. Bit of light soy sauce. All right. Give me the few final stir. And uh, usually we will touch this particular dish. Um, I have uh, here. I actually have some about three uh, tablespoon of uh, cornstarch okay dilute with some water here i'm going to off the fire first then only i add in the starch so that you can actually uh, the effect will be much more uh, natural and better The soup has thicken up immediately. Now is the time where I'm going to add in the beaten egg. By uh, adding the cornstarch, the starch solution uh, before the beaten egg, then you will actually be able to create some what we call smooth egg effect. In Taiwan, they actually use uh, deep fried uh, egg floss, but uh, personally, I find it a bit greasy, too oily. So I prefer to just add the uh, the egg like this. Yeah, gently push it so that you can have some very nice. See, this is the smooth egg effect. Beautiful smooth egg effect here. There you go. You have some very nice vegetable stew you here and um, I'm suggesting one way you can eat it uh, of course you don't have to eat it that way which I'm um, after I'm I pour this over to a bowl I'm going to add some uh, uh, black vinegar and also white pepper okay you can do without that too so up to you it is basically done I'm going to show you how I serve it okay so I'm going to add in some black vinegar few dashes of white pepper there you go you can put some green onion on top also okay there you go it's that simple uh, I hope you like my video if you like my video do share my video on your Facebook to your friends come to cooking up our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on Instagram and subscribe to cooking up our YouTube channel thank you very much bye bye